What is up everybody, it is Master Rolf here, welcome back to some more Call of Duty Heroes gameplay. So, today we're going to go and take on some of the single player missions. We're going to do the first few, uh, and that includes all of South America. There are three missions there, and as you can see, I have completed them all. Uh, but we'll go back and have a look at them all, and see how we can destroy them. But before we get into that, I just want to say I have created our first alliance. Uh, so if you want to uh, come and join me, make sure you build your communication center and come join my alliance. Uh, my alliance is called Masters of Of. I sadly couldn't put spaces or any kind of special characters, they called it. Uh, so that was really upsetting, so it is that. Uh, but it is completely open to join, and as you can see, there are five of us in here at the moment, uh, which is really cool. And, you know, when people ask for support and stuff, uh, you can send them out, so you can send over some troops. So let's send this guy some of these. There we go. Beautiful. Working as a team. Uh, and you can basically join me in our fight. We can send over troops and it would be pretty awesome uh, to get a big group in my alliance and getting the alliance growing. Anyway, enough of that. We are going to go and attack the new guys. The new guys? We're going to go and attack the uh, missions today. Let's spawn up those guys that I was missing. Uh, these shouldn't take too long, but we might as well finish them instantly. Now, the first three missions you come against are all in South America. And uh, you have... You do have loot available, but I've taken all the loot. Sadly, you can't go back and, like, retake the loot. Once you've taken it, you've taken it and it's gone. So, the first base is incredibly simple, incredibly easy. You have one uh, machine gun turret. And all you need to do is spawn up a few juggernauts to take it down. And they will take it down quickly. And it's, 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 it's pretty simple. It's, it's as easy as that. But I'm going to spawn a few more guys in just to hurry it up. And they will take it out. There's nothing else to worry about. There's no other things you need to destroy. You just need to take that down and then go destroy the comm center and you'll be laughing. And that's a really easy three star and also a really easy little bit of loot. But otherwise, the uh, the battlefield looks a little bit bland. There's not really much here uh, except for the stuff around the battlefield, I guess. We've got a nuclear power plant there. I wonder if Homer Simpson works there. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, victory. <laughs> there we go. I was looking around. I don't know why, but three stars, 100% damage. No problems at all. Let's spawn up then the same troops. So what troop uh, compilation do I use? At the moment, um, I use... Well, actually, when I was tackling these, I would use four juggernauts. And then the rest would be uh, just normal soldiers, normal riflemen. Wait, what are they even called? Assault. Normal assault. Uh, and, yeah, these are juggernauts. And, like, four juggernauts. But at the moment, I have got slightly bigger camps, so I can hold more people. But it's not really a problem. I think the best thing at the moment to do at, at this level is definitely split up uh, pretty much a third of them being juggernauts and then a third, the other two thirds, another third, the other two thirds being uh, assault. So let's spawn up our few juggernauts here. Uh, we can spawn in the assaults around the base as well just to hurry it up. And we can also bring in our hero if need be. A uh, great thing about the hero again is you can tell him what to shoot. So I'm going to put him to shoot that. And that should be that pretty quickly finished. I do like the animations on this though. Like you see the juggernauts like are hiding behind them. And then they kind of whip out their sawned off shotguns. And it's pretty effective. But there we go. Another three star. We did use Captain Price. Which costs about 70 oil. I can't quite confirm it. But it's about 70 oil. Uh, it's not too bad. Anyway let's train up, uh, train up our troops again. Bring back the jugs that we used. And that should be that. Oh, by the way, if you're trying to get this game at the moment, it is still in beta. Uh, the only way to get it is to have a Australian or New Zealand iTunes account. So if you're over there, or if you have one of their accounts for some reason, uh, you can download it for free. It's in beta at the moment, so hopefully it'll be coming out in the other countries soon. Anyway, so we're going to spawn up three of the juggernauts on this side, three on this side, and then follow them in uh, with a couple of assaults just to take out the other stuff. Hopefully those juggernauts should not have a problem. Uh, we're taking them out, but they are actually going down quite fast. So, we should be alright. They're going to take those down. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to spawn the hero in as well. And that machine gun is down. That machine gun actually has taken out all of my juggernauts on this side. We're only left with one juggernaut left. Uh, let's get a nice close-up on, on these guys and see their animations. So, you can see it's got shadows and everything. It, I mean, it is pretty high detail. Um, especially for beta. I guess this is going to be very close to the final model. But that, guys, is how you complete South America. It is super, super easy. Uh, as it is going to be. It's the first three missions, so it's not going to be hard. But just to warn you, uh, by the time you get to Europe, I believe. Uh, is, the, is the third one Europe? 
North Europe, it gets really hard really quickly. So bear that in mind. Uh, but that is that done. We'll go. Co well, let's go destroy uh, or have a look to destroy a multiplayer base as well. Uh, I'm going to spawn my troops back up. There we go. We currently have 121 reputation points, uh, which isn't too bad. Let's go and attack. I've also had a few people attack me, um, but I haven't been able to defend any yet. But I have had some where they've only got one star and such, so it's not too bad. As long as you can attack more than you get attacked, you should start going up those rep points. So this is this guy's base. He only has one defense, uh, which is that machine gun. So I'm going to spawn in uh, my juggernauts to go take him out. Because that's a lot of juggernauts for one machine gun. Uh, but they should finish it off quite quickly. And then I'm just going to spawn again a few of these in just to hurry it up a bit. Did they get hit by mine? No, I don't think they did. I think they destroyed something. And there we go. Let's get, let's get this base destroyed nice and quickly. And hopefully this should be a uh, another... How much do we get from this? Oh, we only get one reputation point from this because he's such a low level. Uh, we only get one reputation point, but... Oh, well. take them down the comm center is about to go we've got 60% we have got one star uh, the comm center should be down pretty soon we've got this one lone guy over here um, who is shooting at the barracks but he keeps on missing he's missed every single shot there we go he got him that time Wow and that is that another victory another hundred percent another one reputation point that is that is something special oh no it says plus 15 here Okay, that's confused me because I swear it said plus one on the left a minute ago. Anyway, let's train up some more troops and go have a, another another go at the multiplayer. Get a few m more reputation points. So if you ever have troubles online or whatever, and you know it's really hard, they've got loads of defenses. Oh, we can't find a match. Make sure to use your hero's ability. Uh, so your kill streak. Using the kill streak can literally wipe out a base. So this guy's again. This guy's only got two defenses, uh, and for some reason his walls are just. Just a disaster, so I'm going to spawn up a few Juggernauts, and then we're going to spawn in some Assault behind them. Hopefully no Juggernaut should die. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, and I'm going to spawn in a couple more Juggernauts as well to go attack from this side. Because these ones are going for the Salmon Turret, although I haven't ha I haven't even got anything yet that could attack uh, from the air. And I haven't been attacked with, from with anything that's in the air yet, so... Sam turrets are quite pointless at lower levels, so don't bother upgrading them. Upgrade your machine guns, and actually design your base a little bit better. I'll show you my base, and I'll go into a little bit more detail why it works in a second. Uh, but yeah, don't do not don't do, don't do your base like this. Seriously, this is a, a bad base. And we should be able to destroy this pretty quickly. We've got our 60%. Uh, we're going to take out the comm center pretty soon. Let's spin the camera around a bit. There we go. I quite like being able to turn the camera. And we should take this out and pretty much finish this game off. Come on. Destroy it. Yes. And there we go. That is that destroyed. We got another load of reputation points. How much have we got? We can see if we can actually break into the leaderboards uh, today. We got another 14. I don't know what the leaderboards require. Let's have a quick look. So this is the top players list uh, for the month. We could just go forever though because it's the exact same thing. We need to break into it. Oh, we are on 9999 plus. So we need 164 reputation points. Pretty easy to get, actually. I'll probably be able to get those by the end of tonight. And I'll see if we can get into the leaderboards, which will be pretty cool. Uh, but let's go for one more. Let's go for one more attack. I'm going to show you this guy as well. This is the sniper. Uh, the sniper actually goes for the uh, resources. So he'll go for storages or the oil, uh, oil mines, etc. Uh, oil pumps. But before we go, let me show you this. My base is designed quite well. Pretty much everything is covered by machine guns. And also, they're covered by a guardian, which actually does a lot of damage and really stops people. Uh, and it really puts people off from attacking you as well, I found. But again, the most important thing really is the uh, barriers. The barriers in this game are really powerful. And they can literally, they can make you win or lose. The amount of time it takes to destroy them is pretty insane. There is a troop you unlock uh, at the next bar uh, next training compound level. Uh, and that will like go for walls and destroy your walls for you But otherwise definitely only upgrade the sentry guns don't bother upgrading the Sam turrets at this level uh, They will come with time, but also make sure to upgrade all your gold stuff So your gold uh, depot and also your gold uh, miners Definitely really really important. Anyway, let's go do our final attack of the day of the video 
Who have we got? No matches. Great. That's that's a great start. Come on, give me something. Nope, still nothing. Third time's a charm. Except this time. <laughs> I think this is the only problem with it still being in beta is it's quite hard sometimes to find them. Anyway, we found this one now. Uh, he has, as you can see, he's put all his stuff uh, behind these kind of walls, which is quite a good idea. Uh, we're going to spawn out our jugs and we're going to spawn in our assaults right behind them. There we go. And I'm going to spawn the snipers in. As I said, uh, the snipers actually... What's that circle for? I have no idea. Uh, the snipers go for the uh, the oil and the gold. So as you can see, they're shooting the oil and gold rather than the actual sentry guns themselves. But there we go. The sentry guns have been annihilated. They've been taken down. I'm actually, I'm, let's spawn in Captain Price as well. Go, Captain Price. Go and destroy that. <laughs> So they're taking out the Sam turret, the gold uh, collector, the gold mine should be gone. That is now gone. These guys are going for the walls here, and you can see the damage they do to the walls. It's actually not much. I can there's a lot of them shooting it now, but the damage is not much. Uh, so that's definitely why they're really, really important. Captain Price, our only hero, is going for the training compound and doing pretty well, to be fair. And then the oil uh, mines are going down as well. Oil pumps, boom. And we're getting quite a few of these energy points for it. We actually haven't used energy points yet. We've got a stuff, a couple of things from our alliance as well. So let's drop out a, uh, let's drop out a rifleman. We don't want to use all the stuff from our alliances though. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste, especially since we don't have loads of people in our alliance. But it's always good to recruit people, especially in a beta of a game. Uh, they're going for the final bit here, the com communication center. I think I can't quite remember what this place is called, but this is where the alliances would be. So if you had troops in here and uh, somebody attacked you, they would obviously come out and help you. Victory! Three stars, uh, 16 reputation points, and we got some extra stuff. Let's leave this guy a message and say, "Come join my alliance, uh, masters of of." There we go. Now he knows that I am nice, and he can come join my alliance after I've destroyed his base. So there we go guys, that is the end of some Call of Duty Heroes gameplay for you and taking out the first batch of single player missions. If you liked the video, make sure you hit uh, smash the like button down below and comment on what you think about those missions. How did you do them? Are they easy? The answer is yes, they're crazy easy. But until the next video guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.